You can start by navigating to the cards portion of your left-hand navigation panel and clicking issue card. You'll notice that physical cards have a limit of one card per employee, but virtual cards are not limited. We recommend issuing one physical card to each employee and then issuing all other spend via virtual cards. Employees can still use their virtual cards on the go by assigning any of their virtual cards against their physical card via the RAMP website or mobile app. Let's start by selecting physical card. You'll add the name of the employee on the first line, and you'll notice that any employees who already have a physical card will be grayed out. Next, you'll name the card. From there, you'll indicate the amount and the frequency for this card limit. Think of ramp cards like a charge card in the sense that you're saying up to this amount can be spent in this time period. The frequency determines how often that limit resets. From there, you'll indicate the payment options. So you can allow reimbursements against this physical card. Next, we have the advanced controls. If you'd like to lock this card after a certain date, you can add that under auto lock date. You're also able to add max transaction amounts or restrict certain categories and vendors under category and vendor controls. Lastly, you'll select the submission policy the card falls under, the transaction review policy, and you'll add in the shipping address below. If your team goes into the office, we recommend clicking use my office address at the bottom. Issuing virtual cards is similar to issuing physical cards. At RAMP, we recommend issuing vendor or purpose-specific virtual cards. This helps keep your company money safe even if your card information is compromised. You'll start by clicking Issue Card in the upper right-hand corner and selecting Virtual Card. Next, you'll fill in who this card is for as well as the name of the card. We typically recommend putting either the vendor or the purpose of the card as the card name. Next, you'll indicate the amount and the frequency for which the amount resets. Under Advanced Spend Controls, you can indicate if you'd like to block certain categories or vendors, or if you would only like to allow certain categories or vendors. Next, you can add in the auto lock date for the card and the max transaction amount, if applicable. Under Additional Options, you can enable physical card linking and allow reimbursements to be assigned against this limit. Lastly, you'll indicate the submission policy that this card falls under, as well as the transaction review policy. If you would like to add any accounting rules on the card level, you can do so here as well. Once you press issue, the card will be ready for immediate use for your card holders. Spend programs are a great way to issue company-wide spend at scale for fringe benefits like wellness and work from home stipends, monthly lunch, and more. You can access spend programs by clicking issue card in the top right and scrolling down and selecting spend program under from a program. First, you'll start by naming the program. And just like with naming physical cards and virtual cards, you'll add the purpose of the card under the program name. Next, you'll add in your description and select the thumbnail icon for the card. You can choose to allow users to request spend from this program, and you can do this based on department, location, or all users. You can also select whether you would like this program issued by default for new users by department, location, or all users. Next, you'll indicate the amount and the frequency the amount resets. Under additional options, you can enable physical card linking or you can issue a physical card if the requester does not already have one. 
We recommend checking this box because it will ensure that all users are able to use this spend program when away from their desk. They can link their virtual card limits against their physical card. You can also select whether you would like your team to be able to submit reimbursements against this limit. Under advanced controls, you can add in the auto lock date, max transaction amounts, and category and vendor restrictions. If you are using spend programs for fringe benefits, we recommend restricting categories to ensure that your team is safe if you were to get audited. You can select the submission policy, the cards under this spend program fall under, as well as the transaction review policy. If you'd like to add any accounting rules for coding on the spend program level, you can do so here.